Welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. This week, I'm going to be talking about the Antarctic dinosaur called Cryolophosaurus. Cryolophosaurus, which means frozen crested lizard, was a large theropod that lived in the early Jurassic of Antarctica. It was one of the biggest theropods of the time, at about 6.5 meters long and weighing around 465 kilograms, nearly as much as Donald Trump then. However, the only known specimen was a juvenile at the time of its death, so it is likely that the individuals of the species could have grown much larger, meaning that the Cryolophosaurus was probably a top predator in Antarctica. Cryolophosaurus was first collected in 1990 on Mount Kirkpatrick in the Transantarctic Mountains and was the second dinosaur ever to be discovered in Antarctica. The dinosaur was then named and described in 1994. The most striking feature on the Cryolophosaurus is of course its strange head crest coming up now. There you go. This is unusual as most other crested dinosaurs such as Monolophosaurus I think that's how you pronounce that one. Monolo, Monolophosaurus, that's it, had crests which ran along the length of the skull, not across it like Cryolophosaurus. The crest is very thin and is formed as an extension of skull bones. It probably would have been a poor weapon, so was most likely used as a display feature, either for attracting mates or intimidating rivals. Classifying Cryolophosaurus has been difficult as the dinosaur displays both advanced and more primitive traits. Cryolophosaurus' skull has characteristics similar to those of more derived tetanuran theropods such as Cineraptor, whereas its femur shows traits similar to more basal forms of theropods. Therefore, Cryolophosaurus has been moved around the cladogram quite a few times, being placed within the Allostraudae, Ceratosuria, and even as a close relative of Dilophosaurus. However, the most recent phylogenic analysis recovers Cryolophosaurus as a primitive Titanuran, the Titanurae being a clade including theropods such as Allosaurus, my favourite dinosaur, Spinosaurus and T-Rex, as well as many more. Hang on, I'm just going to check if the Allosaurus is my one that's favourite dinosaur. Okay, Ben, cut that. Allosaurus isn't my favourite dinosaur. Anyway, at the time when Cryolophosaurus lived, the early Jurassic, Antarctica was a lot further north than it is now, so it would have been warmer then. Coastal areas of Antarctica would probably not have ever dropped below freezing. However, inland it was much colder, as is indicated by models of Jurassic airflow. Fossils of plant material have been discovered in formations of the same age of Cryolophosaurus, which means that a dense plant material had once grown in Antarctica. <whistles> Plants growing in Antarctica? It's like flowers growing on Donald Trump. Good, I've made a good Donald Trump joke. Anyway, Cryolophosaurus being the top predator of its area probably preyed on other dinosaurs that lived in the same place. Evidence of this is supposedly shown by long cervical ribs that were found in the mouth of the type specimen, which might have belonged to a prosauropod, although this has been questioned. Teeth from an early relative of mammals have been discovered along with Cryolophosaurus, which were concluded to be part of the dinosaur's stomach contents. Thank you for watching this episode of Fossil Friday, and I hope you enjoyed it. You can follow me on Twitter at Black Thunder to Ben put a link in the description and subscribe to my channel Black Thunder Ben put a link on the description to hear more of my beautiful voice. How a very merry Crylophosaurus. Quill Quill You know what? I'll do my own one. Have a very merry have a um, Have a merry dinosaurus. Dun dun dinosaurus Oh Christ's and the Sormus. Have a merry. Just, just have a nice Christmas. And remember to subscribe to both my channel and Benji Thomas. It is Benji Thomas, isn't it? Yeah, it is.